Oh, hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, and exotic pets. This is Bob coming to you from Chiang Mai, Thailand, where things are pretty much ground to a stop. To make things worse, there are a whole heap of forest fires in Chiang Mai province, and our air quality has been uh, bordering around 200 this week, but when the big fire on top of the mountain uh, almost came over the mountain, which is basically the west side of Chiang Mai. When that happened, it got up to 391 for a day or so there. And the land is so steep that they're having to fight it with helicopters and uh, they can't get ground equipment into the fires. So, some of my friends <clears throat> are trapped in Hawaii. Now that's probably not the worst thing that ever happened to them and I'm not getting any complaints out of them. Actually, one of them advised me that he's sitting on a hill over the ocean watching whales in a, in a very relaxing chair. So I guess it's good for some people. And of course, grab and panda food deliveries are doing great. From 10 at night until four in the morning, we're not supposed to go out at all. <clears throat> now, of course, medical workers and essential services are still able to get around. But uh, in the, in down in Bangkok last weekend, they caught 7,500 people for breaking the curfew. So, especially down south, they seem to be enforcing it. Um, schools have been closed for quite a while. Thailand got its first case the, within a day of the time South Korea and Taiwan got their first cases. Um, they're seem to be doing very well in South Korea, China, and Taiwan these days, and aggressive uh, measures in those countries, countries have eliminated some of the spread that would have happened if they had done nothing. Now, all restaurants are allowed to stay open, but they're not allowed to have sit-down dining. So they either have closed for this period or they're going to be uh, doing takeout only. In a surprise move, the government banned all alcohol sales from the 10th of April until the 20th of April in an attempt to get the thing back under control. Some really short-sighted individuals put on a Muay Thai boxing match that was attended by about 5,000 people down in the northern suburbs of Bangkok. And that sparked an outbreak, which seems to have tapered off now. And the biggest source of infections is currently Pattaya. And um, they're looking at some more, re more restrictive plans as well. <clears throat> the streets are largely bare and you just you can, all, you can walk across the busiest street in town just about without looking to see if anybody's coming. I'm not suggesting anybody do that, but the traffic is so thin. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting a block off one of the major streets in town and you hear no traffic and it's what would normally be rush hour. So, the number of tourists dropped starting in February here and uh, there just aren't, at least in Northwest Thailand where I am, there just aren't any tourists. Oops, a birdie came in to see if I had put out anything for them to eat. I don't know if you caught that in the edge of your screen, but I wasn't expecting a visit. So, my friends in China, I know a doctor and a teacher, I talked to them yesterday, and they were both pretty uh, in good spirits the doctor th seems to think that they've got the virus on the run. And um, since they're the ones that got it going, the, the response and shared information with other countries about what they knew about it before the countries that uh, kind of waited around for it to get there before they did anything, um, they shared information with them with, in some places it was listened to in other places it was ignored be that as it may or as Kurt Gavonovic would say so it goes 
So that's how it is here in Thailand. I might go down and grease the chain on my motorcycle in case we get a couple of good days of, of weather because we're expecting rain Monday and that'll clean up the air a bit. I hate to go ride when the air looks ugly. I feel like I've out and done my job as a postcard photographer. Well, I appreciate you watching, I really do. You know, YouTube pays us or doesn't pay us based on the number of likes and subscribes we get. So I would sure appreciate a like or a subscribe or even both. Thanks again for watching.